Everybody needs a good chicken soup recipe in their repertoire, I think. And with cold and flu season coming up, you're definitely gonna want this one. It's a chicken noodle, super simple. Put a chicken into a nice big stock pot. A whole chicken cut up into pieces is great. Add four cups of chicken broth, one of those big uh, quart cartons is good, and then five cups of water. You can start off with plain water when you're making chicken soup, but starting with a little bit of broth just adds additional flavor that's really fantastic. Add a teaspoon, of course, salt. You don't want to oversalt because the broth generally has salt in it. While the stock is coming to a boil, just get your veg ready. Over here, I have all my vegetables. Four cloves of garlic. They're gonna go in whole so that you can remove them if you want to. Just crush them. In addition to the garlic, two onions, thinly sliced. All of these vegetables are gonna cook in the broth to a really nice tenderness. I find that the onion, carrot, and celery stay really delicious and add their flavor to the broth while not getting too mushy while the chicken cooks. I also have some parsley stems as well, four medium carrots. You wanna peel them and then cut them into half inch pieces. I always like to cut mine on the diagonal because I think that they're prettier that way, but that's not a necessary part of the process. Okay, and then two stalks of celery cut into quarter inch slices. I think that celery has kind of a strong flavor, so I don't like to overwhelm my soup with too much, but I think it's a necessary flavoring agent in the soup. Now that it's at a boil, you can see that there's some foam that's formed on the top. You wanna skim that off and then add your vegetables to the soup. So this is the parsley, the carrots, the onion, the garlic, as well as the celery return it to a boil, and then reduce it to a simmer and cook it for 25 minutes, partially covered. After 25 minutes, I removed my chicken so that it wouldn't overcook, and now I'm adding my pasta. It's two ounces of angel hair. It seems like not very much, but it's going to expand greatly when you add it in your soup. I like to break my noodles a little bit so that they're not too long in the spoon, so I'm just breaking them into thirds. It shouldn't take too long to cook, so cook your noodles right in the soup. Here's my chicken. I let it cool a little bit so I can touch it. Sometimes I get really impatient and I start trying to take the chicken off the bones, and it is not a pretty sight. So give the chicken a chance to cool off and then remove the bones and the skin and discard them, and then just tear the chicken into bite-sized pieces. For this soup, I wouldn't recommend adding more than about three cups, so you can save the rest of it for chicken salad or chicken sandwiches, something like that. Well, that seems like plenty. All that's left to do is add your chicken back to the broth and heat it through. Honestly, it can be as much or as little as you want. Three cups is basically a guideline. I'm gonna use some tongs to get these noodles from the bottom, because I see that they've sunk to the bottom and I don't wanna miss out on my noodles. Chicken noodle soup is a classic one-pot recipe. It doesn't have to be for just when you have a cold. Mm. I don't think there's anything more comforting than this.